let me tell you how long to stand and pray and believe. Until the promise is manifested in your face. Now watch. If you go to your grave without seeing the manifestation, then go to your grave believing. Because after you're gone, those prayers you're leaving behind will still be working because they're filled with the power of the word of God. It's the greatest thing you could ever leave them, far better than some monetary inheritance. Leave them faith behind. You've got to keep believing until it's standing there. And you can give God glory. And let me tell you one more thing. Because you never know when you're just one prayer away. It may have been a year, two years, three, ten. You never know when God's going to keep that promise. And usually what he does. I've noticed God's, his speeds are usually slow and suddenly. Because when he comes, it's usually, boom, he's on the scene. It's not like he does a little slow thing. I mean, he'll, he'll make you wait. But I'm telling you, when he comes, you never know when that you're just, it, you never know when it's tomorrow is my suddenly. I didn't know on January the 9th, tomorrow she's coming home. What if I'd have thrown it to the wind on the 9th? When Lindsay was gone. Casey, her husband, it was in the dark days, showed me a video. He said, Karen, he says, I want you to see this. He said, um, he says this is a, a football game that was happening this weekend. He was showing it to me because he thought it was just intriguing and kind of funny that this guy had made such a mistake playing this football game. And, and Casey was like, um, you've got to see this. He said, look, they just played it that weekend. He says, you've got to see this play. Well, Casey shows me the play. And when he shows me the play, I knew I'm hearing a word from God. I'm hearing a word from God about my promises. So I want you to watch. It's about probably a minute and a half, two minutes. I want you to watch the video he showed me that day of this football team in Utah. I think it's Utah. And uh, this game that they were playing. And I want you to watch very carefully what happened in this game and listen to your word. Throwing here, throwing on, third here on third down. And he's going to throw it long. And he's got a man there on the run. Kevin Clay gone. Touchdown. <laughs> 79 yards. For the score. Well, he had 57 yards passing last week. What's going on on the field here? Wait a minute. Joe Walker's in the end zone on the other oh. end. You know what? Kalen Clay dropped the football before he crossed the goal line. And the side judge. The runner fumbled the ball prior to getting into the end zone. The ball was recovered by the defense. The play is under further review. This will be interesting. The side judge was watching it the entire way. Watch Kalen Clay before he crosses the goal line. He drops oh. the ball clearly. What was he thinking? Oh, my goodness. What would have been a 79 yard touchdown is going to be a 99 yard touchdown in the other direction by linebacker Joe Walker. And it's not like he's not been in the end zone. He's had four returns, three punt returns and a kickoff return down this year. I knew when I saw it, the Lord was telling me, Karen, don't drop the ball. And I'm telling you today, the promise that God has given you, you may think that you, you know, you, don't, you just don't know how long you've got. You don't know how close you are to the end zone. Is that what you call it, the end zone? You don't know how close you are. 
And what happened that day? What? Did you see that? He drops the ball and the other team grabs it like a pack of demons and grabs the ball and runs to the other end just like the enemy will do. If you drop the ball, the enemy is just waiting for a take on that victory. Come on. But what you got to do, and you need to remember this. Give me a ball, Lauren. Throw me that ball. ball. Throw it to me. Throw it to me, baby. Come on. When you got a word from God, this is your word. It's like, it's like you're praying and, and you're seeking God. and I love this because Paul says the promises of God. Oh, not Paul, Peter. Peter said the promises of God. Oh, I love it. Are exceedingly great and precious promises. Oh, that's what this is. You got your promise. You got it from heaven. It fell right to you. It's your word. It's your word. So what you got to do, now listen, I can tell you from experience. You get your word that day, you are high as a kite. I always felt like when I got a promise, oh, this is it. She's coming home today. This is it. Today. I'd call Pam. Today's the day of deliverance. I got a word from God. Woo! Because that day you're just excited. Yes! Oh, hallelujah! And you're looking, you promise. Your promised manifestations down there, but you've got it in view. This is it. Oh, hallelujah. You start off that day and you are running, baby. Whoa, you've got it. You're running down that field. You're going for your victory. You're going for your promise. Oh, I've got it. I've got the victory. Oh, I've got the victory. You got to remember this because there are going to be days that whew, I thought it was going to be today, but it's three weeks later. Whew. I got my promise, though, don't I? Oh, yeah. Oh, hallelujah. It's been, it's been eight months. <laughs> it's going to be some days that your run look like that. It's going to be other days your run looks like this. Oh, I've still got my promise. It's been two and a half years. Some days your run is going to look like this. There's going to be other days you got family members looking at you saying, what a fool you are. It's going to be some days your run's going to look more like this. You're going to have friends telling you, what do you think you are? You and your little promises. You still believe in your word? You still believe in what God told you? You still believe in what he said? It's been six years. You still believe in that promise? Come on, baby. There's going to be some days your run's going to look like this. There's going to be some days your run's going to look just like this. But you got to remember, no matter what, you got to keep moving. And you got to hold on to that ball. you got to hold on to that ball. Don't you dare drop that ball. Don't you dare. Not until you're all the way at the end of the manifestation of your word. Get up on your feet today. Come on. Get up on your feet. Can I have somebody at the piano? Come on. Oh, Jesus. Come on. I don't know where you are today. On your field. I don't know where you are today. On your field of promise. But you got to keep going. Whether you're running, whether you're crawling. You got to hold on to your word. You hold on to your word.